Camera 3 presents film director Costa Gavras discussing his political films with director Marcel Ophuls. Costa Gavras is best known for his films Z, State of Siege, and the new film Special Section. Marcel Ophuls made Banana Peel, The Sorrow and the Pity, Sense of Loss, and the yet-to-be-released Memory of Justice. Both men have presented recent history as a cutting edge, even as indictments, yet they have worked in quite different ways. Costa Gavras has made feature films based on historical material, but using scripts and actors to tell specific stories. Ophuls has worked in the documentary form, incorporating archive footage and extensive interviews to sort out and focus events that involved years of struggle. His four-hour film, The Sorrow and the Pity, deals with the occupation of France in World War II, sense of loss with the Irish Civil War, memory of justice with the Nuremberg Trials. To tell the truth about political struggle as they see it, both men have had to challenge complacency, uncover old wounds, and face strong opposition from governments. About our profession, about movie making, how closely do you have to be identified with a background or with certain historical events in order to be able to narrate them or dramatize them on the screen. One of the questions that I am very often and very aggressively confronted with <laughs> is uh, why, uh, how could you make a film about the French occupation, uh, about the German occupation of France? Were you there? How old were you? <laughs> Uh, always with the implication, well, if you weren't in the French resistance, yeah. what the hell were you doing a film like that about? Uh, do you feel that about, about uh, when you go to, to South America, or when you were making Z, yeah. do, you, uh, do you feel that as a handicap or an advantage, or neither? Do you ever feel like a tourist? I, I felt like a tourist when I went to make a film in Ireland, because <coughs> I didn't have the roots, yes. I didn't have the... Yes. It is a problem, no doubt. But people who ask that kind of questions, you just told, I think they do it because they are against the movie, <laughs> not for, the, for, our, for more serious reasons. They uh, are just against the movie, so they try to find, find the, a wedge. Uh, yes. Uh, but in my feeling, it's not the point. Sometimes, it, for me, it's a little bit difficult, I'm saying. But I also feel it's necessary to, to do it. I feel. Uh, it's not an obligation to do that kind of movies. I just feel I have to do them. I like to do them. And especially, I like to do them. And do them the way I uh, did it. So You uh, don't have a sense of mission about, about politics in oh movies? No, no, I, uh, no, no mission, no. I don't like the world very much. I, uh, what I feel... Is what was your own word just now? Obligation. Is yes. that a better word? Better one, yes, because like human being, I, I feel, and as there is an obligation to say exactly uh, the truth and what I feel. That's all. And uh, as I have the possibility to make a movie with it, I'm just doing it uh, with a movie. You know, some people told me often that uh, probably it should be to give uh, also solutions or to have. Uh, a more precise political uh, uh, side, or to show more things and uh, more my position. I think it's very fake. I cannot give any solution. Again, you would say that, that, is, that that's the kind of question people ask who yeah. don't like what yeah. you're doing. Yeah. You know, even sometimes people who like, they said, why, uh, so what can we do? What do we do? I mean, what's the solution? Uh, they are waiting for a mir miracle. I have no any miracle in my pocket. <laughs> I think nobody has. Is this because yes? Is this because you think that um, that filmmakers who happen either by choice or by accident to be yeah. making films on politics rather than musical comedies, for yes. instance, uh, are not are not. Uh, obligated to give any answers 
and are not experts on political yeah. questions just because they make political movies? Or do you think that there are no answers? <clears throat> now, first, I think when you make uh, musicals, nobody asks you aggressively, what are you doing in those movies? Nobody. They just like or not, they accept them or not. That's all. They never ask you that kind of questions. The same if you just make, I don't know, westerns. But for people who, like you and me, making movies with political uh, subjects, I prefer that definition, uh, people became aggressive, and especially when they don't like it. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Why? What's your purpose? And, uh, and even the critics. And sometimes, I mean, the problem with the critics sometimes is we have no uh, critics with political culture. Generally, the, the critics have an aesthetic culture, you know, a big culture, but most of them, sometimes. not a big political, sometimes, <laughs> but most of them know any political culture. culture. So they, uh, some of them try to What understand. do you call a political culture? For example, to know what is a Maoist, to know what is happening now in Pakistan. Each of Costa Gavra's films involves real historical events. This is an excerpt edited for time purposes from Z, which established him as a director of international importance. It takes place in Greece during the repressive regime that was only recently overthrown. Z was filmed in France in 1969, where Greek-born Costa Gavras has lived for many years. And of course, it was forbidden in Greece. But in 1974, Costa Gavras visited Greece and brought Z with him. A quarter of all Athens saw the film, openly hissing the portrayals of the villains who were known to everyone and cheering the heroes who had maintained their integrity. Oh, it's all right. Let's hear what you have. Don't you abuse this privilege or you may find yourself in prison for interfering with justice. Now go on. I will. The Volkswagen was waiting here, hidden by the police. What was the deputy doing when the pickup arrived there? He moved forward. I want the inspector of police! I'm calling for the general of police! He wanted the general to clear the square to prevent bloodshed. Come on, let's go! Don't stand there. Those goons are here again. Then I saw the pickup. Watch that now! Was the man in back standing? Could he have struck him? I can't swear to it. It happened too fast. And then? He fell to his knees. There was total confusion. To his knees? You mean his head didn't hit the pavement? Absolutely not. He was on his knees, surrounded by demonstrators. The police just stood by and did nothing. Which demonstrators? Who was closest to him? I have no idea. We got him clear of the crowd, and that's when he collapsed. So let's talk about being subjective as, as opposed to object. Do you believe in objectivity in our work? No, no, absolutely not. No. I only believe to the subjectivity. Uh, yes. No we doubt. Were, you, you, you think, you would agree with me that we have a right to wear our point of view as a badge? Absolutely. As that's a badge the, of honor, perhaps. Even. That's the base of any freedom. Would you agree that there is very often a, a, um, a tendency to confuse uh, notions of objectivity with notions of neutrality? I mean, objectivity seems, to, whenever, whenever, uh, whenever we are asked to be more balanced, what we're actually asked to be usually is more neutral. Or no, I think less there is no objectivity and there is no neutrality. There are words, use it for very poli good political reasons. Mm. Everybody says the, the Switzerland is neutral. Mm -hmm. Probably for everybody, but not for the Switzerland. Absolutely no neutral. There is no neutrality. Yes, neutrality in the death. The body is neutral. That's all. But in the life, everybody is active. Everything is, every living thing is active. Participates. Participates. And uh, 
it's also objective because he has his own its own uh, uh, existence yes so, so it's uh, what's objectivity you you said that there was uh, that there was a difference in the in the popular appeal of z and state of siege now to what do you attribute that difference you you raised the problem yourself i'd like you to yes to to define it i think the 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 state of siege situation it was more complex more uh, difficult to simplify ah, now we're getting to something yeah. very interesting huh? do you agree this is Absolutely. very interesting uh, in um in z the it was easier to show to assume who the bad guys and who the good guys were to put it very simply yes uh, extremely in, simply yeah, yeah well but yeah. let's let's yeah. let's use this this yeah. i mean there was a consensus that the greek junta uh, that the dictators yes. were bad yeah. and therefore there wasn't you didn't have to spend a lot of effort in a, in in exposition yes. to uh, to show why they were repressive. Yeah. In the case of state of siege, you had to present, almost like a lawyer, you had to present a case yes. for a thesis which was much less generally accepted, which yes. is that the CIA was encouraging murder and torture yeah. in South America. Uh, you spoke about the, of course, the story was an investigation and with very precise characters who acted very precisely mm. and they had very uh, extreme uh, positions and acting so it was very easy to show it that way but the relationship between the characters in the state of siege were absolutely different they were more secret the investigation was more difficult and the the the, uh, the relationship between them were also extremely different. So, in both cases, it's, it was necessary to stay very close to the truth. Because I I I'm really for this. I think it's necessary to be in a movie in that kind of movies very uh, <coughs> nearby the truth. Yes. Well, what truth so either capitalized or not is, 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 yes, a, is a dangerous drama. word. <laughs> Victor, get him a little table, please. State of Siege, made in 1973, stars Yves Montand as a CIA operative kidnapped by a revolutionary underground in a South American country. It is based on a true story, including hours of tape-recorded interrogation right. actually made at the time of the real events. I've got to tell you, we may be forced to execute you tomorrow. It was never our intention, and we'd rather not have to. Not that you don't deserve to die, but we would prefer another solution. You wanted to use me for an exchange. And we still want to do it. Wait, let's talk it over. Perhaps I could be of use to you now. In what sense? Well, not in the form you are thinking. But I know how the official mind works, the reactions they may have. It's important in this transaction. If you're able to exercise any influence, then write. Also write your ambassador if you think it would have any effect. I will, of course, but first you have to brief me about the situation and yesterday's events. Because there's a new factor at the present, isn't there? Sit down, if you will, please. Till yesterday, the situation looked quite stable. Then we captured another official of the AID. Who? An agronomist. The situation turned to our advantage. The government then was obliged to accept the exchange or step down. In fact, they were on the point of submitting. But it all fell apart when the police arrested some of our members. How many? A few. Important? All of our members are important. 
The police are of the opinion they're the most important. Is that a fact? Yes, in a certain way. The government will not give up. No, the exchange won't go through. They promptly broke off secret negotiations with us. The Minister of Security gave out a communique of victory. And you've delivered an ultimatum? Yes. It deals with me alone? Yes, it's the most responsible one. We've 24 hours. Is there something you can do? No, I doubt it. But surely your government will have to step in. Considering the situation, no. To them, you're more useful dead than alive. Yes. Of course I am. Because now you're not capable of action. They'll crush you while you're leaderless. Without ever lifting a finger, they're bound to profit, whatever you do. We have plans they know nothing about. It doesn't matter if you have or haven't. They have their own for you. They will have to do exactly what I do in their place. Not a thing. They've flown down a hundred FBI agents from the United States. Hmm. It must be to protect the ambassador and the rest of the Americans. Your police inspire very little faith. You've lost, no matter what. If I'm put to death, it's a gesture of cruelty and impotence. But if you take your word back, it's proof you're demoralized. And impotent too. You said uh, your truth, your conception of the truth, uh, listening to tapes of the actual CIA man kidnapped by the Tupamaros, and then you said, you said, uh, but we, of course, it was 10 hours. Or how many hours was it? The I think the between five and 10. I don't five remember exactly the And then you, then you said, you, of course, you had to select. Yes. We all have to select. Exactly. I mean, when <laughs> saw in the pity there were 60 yeah. hours and they had to be brought down to four and a half, which was still yeah. very long. Uh, now, in what way is there, is, there, is there a contradiction between truth and that selection? I mean, the usual word about that when, by people who don't like us, they no. use the word manipulation. We manipulate. We manipulate truth. Would you accept that? There is another world, which is the subjectivity. Yes. I did this. I, make, point I of made view. this choice with Your my point, point of, of view. view. And with my personal truth, of course. I think we are that. entitled to our point of view. Absolutely. All right. And we make our selections on that basis. Yes. Um, every, every, everybody does. That's right. That's right. Everybody so does. when you, uh, would you say that when you uh, were making the selection, for dramatization in yes. State of Siege from those original yes. tapes, would you, would you admit that you might have been influenced by the fact that you didn't like the role that that man was playing in South America? I mean, was there any danger, for instance, that if he said something that would have been extremely intelligent or extremely convincing, that this is something that you might not have used? I on kept the tape? it. I ah, yes. Well, that's what I'm trying to get at. She did it and I did it. And sometimes some people, uh, left-wing people told me, he's very clever, he's too clever for an American advisor, etc., etc. But he was. He was clever. Absolutely. And, and convincing. Convincing. and convincing. And convincing, strong. And you and wanted why? him to be convincing. Absolutely. It's absurd. Why? I mean, I think here because we get he into was. the difference between propaganda and, no, no, no. and, and artistic films. Yeah. Why, why do you want to give the the other side a chance. Why do you want to? Why do you want uh, people to uh, to be able to stand up? Because I think it's necessary to show the enemy exactly how he is. Because if you tell lies on your enemies, you cannot understand. You cannot change things. In special section, Costa Gavras deals with the actual events in the summer of 1941 when the Vichy government, collaborating with the occupying German forces, rushed through an ex post facto law to put to death Frenchmen considered anti-state. 
to satisfy the German demand for punishment for the killing of their men by the underground. Thousands of people were convicted by their fellow Frenchmen over a period of four years. Is um, section special special section? Is it because um, is it a historical film? Is it a film about the past? Yes, about the past. Historical. Well, obviously, I mean it's yes. during the Vichy period. It seems exactly. like a silly question, but I, I hope that you. No, it is. It is in the, the, the all the facts, taking place are true facts, dramatized, and they took place during a few days and we can see them in two hours. And uh, the, uh, the, they're you know, authors, a director, and actors playing that situation. Mm. But what they are saying, what they are showing, it's absolutely true things, uh, true uh, events. Based on Based protocols on, to some extent? And yes, and absolutely. Even the dialogues, even the uh, we have to consult the archives to go to London, to go to Berlin, and to see all those things, and speak with some living people before to before the author did the book, and then we verify some of the events, and uh, we did the script. Uh, my question about whether it's uh, it's uh, it's a film about the past, what I really meant is, are there any ties between that type of historical film and preoccupations, political preoccupations that you might have today about freedom or power or the structure of power or the corruption of power? Absolutely, absolutely. I, I made, I chose, I chose that particular story because I think it's very specific and it helps to show the relationship between the power and justice, and justice and addicted. So the triangle is perfect. Vous occupiez un haut poste au journal L'Humanité, Monsieur Sampex. L'un des plus hauts. J'étais secrétaire général du journal. Vous vous êtes évadé d'un camp d'internement administratif et vous avez repris votre activité contre le redressement national. Cessons ce petit jeu, voulez-vous Vous ne représentez ici qu'une puissance étrangère, celle qui occupe notre pays. Je refuse de m'expliquer devant un tribunal asservi. Ce procès, il est facile de savoir qui l'a voulu, qui l'a organisé. C'est Pucheux, le nouveau ministre de l'Intérieur. Eh bien, donnez-lui ma peau, puisqu'il vous la demande, et que vous êtes à ses ordres. Mais je vous préviens, Vous qui allez, comme vous dites, me juger, je vous l'annonce, l'Allemagne nazie sera vaincue et le peuple français jugera lui-même un jour. Vous avez la parole, monsieur le procureur. C'est ça, allez-y. Je demande la peine la plus grave, la mort. Costa Gavra shot the film in France, but the government would not allow him to see the official archives on the special courts. And the surviving special section judges, of which there were many, refused to cooperate with Costa Gavras, claiming for the most part that they were just doing their duty and following orders. In special section, there are few heroes. Everyone is caught in the mechanism. Is it more a picture about, would you like it to be perceived more as a picture about collaboration and pétainisme and Vichy, or more as a picture about the corruption of justice? Oh, yes, it's more about the corruption of justice. Pétainisme and collaboration is the background of the movie. Yes. But the, 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 the most important thing is the corruption and the corruption of justice. And in, in France? In France, I think uh, 
quite everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, but I think in different just, forms, in different the, of countries. course, for one thing, Anglo-Saxon, Anglo-Saxon absolutely, uh, structures absolutely. are very different. The political structure. I think different. for the important important things, the the justice is something like an alibi for the for the power, generally. Justice is an alibi for the power. Yes, instead to to do things to do the repression by himself by itself the power he use the the. Uh, Justice used all the uh, ritual of the justice. You think this is inevitable, or this is just reality? Yes, I, I think it's just reality. I think I don't think so. It's in the inevitable. In the movie, we have some <coughs> some people who refuse, some judges yes. who refuse to yes. follow that yes. way. But I think the systems, and especially our system in France, is absolutely uh, helps that kind of situation. Yeah. Do you think that films can have a political impact, a lasting one? Are you an optimist about that? I mean, we talked a while ago about, about obligation or yeah. sense of mission yeah. or yeah. why or whether one makes political, whether one handles political yeah. subjects with a purpose. Yeah. Is, is, is your purpose, Costa, to have an effect, to have an influence on No, again, on no, but I think those movies, of course, have a political influence on the, on the public, no doubt. I mean... Uh, well, is that your far, purpose? I mean, do you want, far, when you go into a film, do you want that? You know, if you write uh, in a wall something against someone, you do it because... Graffiti. Graffiti, you like... American. People are ready, yes, and something right. happens. Yes. So, I'm doing so that, yes. that way. Yes. The, the frank of answer course. is yes. Of I'm course. doing it that way, of course. You want to influence people. With. Oh yes. 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 Of Don't course. we all? Yes. I just wanted yes. to know. Sure. Because, uh, well, you know, a lot of people give you a song and dance about that. They, Sa some what? A song and dance. Oh. They'll they'll say, yeah. oh well, everybody can take out of a picture of a picture that I make. Uh, what he wants to take, the spectator is perfectly free. This is true. No, the spectators are not is free. True? Where they are, is they true? are, they are not free. But first, they are not free because they are coming to the theater. They bring something. I mean, a movie. It's like an auberge espagnol. I don't know. If a it's Spanish, a, a Spanish it's inn. Inn. It means something with a great many doors and windows. No, no. Which no? means a auberge espagnol, uh, in which you can eat any. Just, just what you bring what with you. Bring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, right. So, uh, I think the audience uh, see a movie with the culture they have, each one. I mean, each viewer sees a movie with the culture, the information, and the character he has. 